money, the economy, your IRA, your 401k, your job, your house. Everybody, everybody is concerned. This is a shaking 7.3 trillion in losses in just about a month or so. It's, it's, it's unprecedented since the Great Depression. Well, the state of our economy, as, you, as I said, is the top of most everybody's mind. And author Cindy Jacobs says now more than ever, we need to be in prayer. Cindy is, I, I don't know if you use the term prophet, but the Lord has spoken to her on repeated occasions. And so Cindy Jacobs, it's great to have you back with us. <laughs> Thank you. It's so we're, we're here yeah. waiting for wisdom. What, what, did, <laughs> what did God say to you? <laughs> well, last January in a worship service, God really just spoke to me. He said, I want you to go in October to pray for Wall Street. Mm. And he said that there's, there's going to be a great shaking in the stock market. And so we began to pray. We have a prayer network here mm -hmm. in the U.S. and around the world. And so October 29th, we were already scheduled before the September 29th shaking. We have intercessors going right under the floor of Wall Street. We have in prayer at all 12 of the Federal Reserve sectors going on and around the whole world. We now have a global day of prayer, a prayer guide written to pray at stock markets. They're praying to stock markets in Hong Kong, Singapore, London, Germany. We're saying, go to your banks, pray. Go in and offer to pray for the bank tellers. Tell them you are interceding. You know, it's a holy experiment. What will happen well, you, if you, you, people pray all over God the world? You think God wants to hold up this ungodly system we're in? <laughs> no, you know what happened? What? This is a very good question. Uh, an intercessor had a dream that there were 50 boxes of iniquity, one for every state, the way the economic systems were set mm -hmm. up. And in the dream, the lid came off and it, the stench was terrible. And God spoke to this guy in the dream. He said, put the lid back on till the body of Christ can shift into, you know, releasing this tremendous wealth and, and, and actually to prepare to start banks and alternate economic systems. For the Christians? Yes. Holy Nation Banking. Holy Nation Banking. Yay, like define it. that. <laughs> well, well, you know, if you look at the Muslims, they have a banking system. Mm -hmm. And they have like maybe 249 billion, a million in deposits. In fact, I, I, I wrote about this in the manifesto. Probably but billion. you know how much what we have as Christians? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. It's true. It's true. And so why not? Mm -hmm. You know, por qué no? Why not? <laughs> and so, right. and so, actually, we believe that the Holy Spirit is saying, "Come on, put a lid on," because what the prophetic word God gave me during this time last January was that it's not the bull market or the bear market; it's the lion's market. So we're going to actually pray there where the wow. statue of the bull is, and that statue of the bull is gorilla art, G-U-E-R-I-L-L-A. -L -L In other words, this guy made it after the 87, you know, crash, yeah, yeah. dumped it on Wall Street mm -hmm. as a gift without any permits or anything, and people rub it for luck and things like this. So we, we believe that God has spoken to us, that he wants to do a new thing. Right. And so he's saying, God spoke to us and we wrote a prayer guide, get out of debt, yes. repent for any mammon, any love of mammon, any way you've spent money, you shouldn't have spent money. God wants to secure mm -hmm. us as the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. In fact, this is fascinating. <laughs> this, the guide that we wrote, um, intercessors that are praying for Wall Street right now, took that guide when the market went down 800 points the other day, and they began to repent for the markets and the greed and the corruption mm -hmm. going down at point by point, and it went back up 400 points in the hour they prayed. Prayer works. Talk about the 29th of November. That's a very significant day. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, actually, the 29th, you know, the Wall Street started cratering about uh, the October 24th, but the 29th they felt was the last day it went kablooey. So we're going to go there on that day, the same day that the stock market really took its, its dive, and we are going to cry out for God to mm -hmm. begin to heal the economy. What do you think about next year? Has the Lord showed you anything about next year? Well, 09 is very significant because we are just at the time when the baby boomers are retiring. And we've right. aborted 50 million babies in the United States. Yeah, yeah. So all these pe babies, you know, people that would have grown up and paid into the Social Security system. But the good thing is God is merciful. He is indeed. He is. But 
The thing I'm concerned about is even if we pray this year, mm -hmm. uh, as Americans, we tend to be short haul people and we stop praying. It happened in the, after the 29 depression, yeah. things got better and then they cratered. And you know what? We also saw as we prayed that there could be food shortages, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, I don't want people to be afraid, but the, the good news is mm -hmm. God also said to us, no matter what happens with economies, God has a Goshen for you. Now, hey, what was the Goshen? Yeah. In the land of Egypt, there was a special place prepared for God's people in a time of famine. And, and you know, you think about that. How could it be? How could it be? There was a famine. These Israelites, these old sheep herders, the Egyptians didn't like. How could they have ever gone to Pharaoh and said, give me your best property. You know, I want, I, you know, give it to us, you know, give us the best jobs and take care of our sheep. Mm -hmm. God prepared a Joseph. And you know what? He is the same yesterday, today, today and forever. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be afraid. We need to get out of debt. We need to pray for spending money that we shouldn't have spent. We need to repent for any love of mammon, greed, yes. personally, corporately. And I believe mm -hmm. that God in this time, of, I call it the holy experiment, a global <laughs> day of prayer for world economies. Okay. You know, if God spoke it last January, he means to take care of us. Certainly That's a good name. Certainly does. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe it. And I, I'm, I'm, you know, it's almost as if our God has been mammon. We've been worshiping mammon. <laughs> and God's time. bringing down that false yeah. idol, just like he brought the idols of Egypt down. It's similar. And also he's striking what's known as the staff of bread and, yeah. uh, you know, floods and droughts and so forth. And uh, others have had the same word about about some kind of food shortages. It's going to happen. Well, he's certainly got our attention, doesn't he? He does. Well, mm -hmm. and, and there should be mass prayer for revival and, and yeah. repentance all over this nation. I was thinking that as you talked about going into banks and praying and, and being forthright and going to people and saying, can I pray for you? In times like this, people are open to that. Oh, sure. You know, in ways that you well, couldn't have sooner. I tell you what, let's pray. And I think, uh, folks, wherever you are, I don't know what your financial situation is. Some of you may have been hurt pretty bad, or some of you may have been smart enough to go to cash during this period of time, or you, you're not in debt, or you are in debt, whatever. Now's the time to pray. And Cindy, why don't you lead us in prayer? We'll all join you, and okay. let's pray for our nation and for this this thing coming up in, in another few weeks. Yes, Father God, we ask right now in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. that you position your people to be blessed and taken care of. Mm -hmm. And Father, we ask you to shift this nation in a powerful way to righteousness. We ask you to intervene. We ask you to be God in the name of Jesus, Lord. And Father, we pray that you will escalate righteousness in a way greater than we have ever yes. seen yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Cindy, we just appreciate you. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you. Thanks for Good being to be here. Honored. You know, appropriate, we should be doing this because we are in the middle of calling people to pray right. for our nation, for the nations of the earth, all of the things that Cindy talked about. And we want to invite you to be a part of that. If you've not already called and said, yes, I'm standing with you, let the words that you've heard today be an incentive to your heart to say, I need to get serious about this personally and then corporately with the body of Christ. You can do that by calling our 800 number, 75 and you can also log on to CBN.com and just say, I'm standing with you for these 30 days of prayer. By the way, yes, Cindy has a book. <laughs> I want to don't uh, forget that. It's called The Reformation Manifesto. Your part in God's plan to change nations today. Mm -hmm. Man, you need to get this and it's available where? It's available at CBN.com. Visit CBN. there. We'll tell okay. you how to get you can hold get of it. it. Mm -hmm. All right. You can link, link to that, to our website. Thank you, Cindy. God bless Great you. Great to have you. Thank Thank you. you.